Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today I want to share a hidden feature of Lightroom concerning smart collections. Now, if you're not familiar with smart collections, they're a type of collection that will automatically populate itself with images if those images meet certain specifications or criteria that you specify. Let me demonstrate. I have just my Lightroom open and I'm going to create a smart collection. I'm going to go up to the collections tab, click a little plus sign and go down to create smart collection. And it's asking to give it a name. I'll just leave it as smart collection. And then what attributes do you want an image to have for it to be added to this smart collection? And you can see there's a little drop down here. First of all, do you want to match all any or none of these attributes? Let's match all. And I'm going to go with a rating, with a rating that is five stars. So right now I'll just create this. And you'll see that a collection called Smart Collection, because that's what I named it, is down here. And it's all images that have five stars in my entire Lightroom library. So I went through the entire Lightroom library. Now let's edit this a bit further. So I'm just going to right click right on the Smart Collection and go down to Edit Smart Collection. And that same dialog box appears. Now I want to add another uh, attribute. Uh, so I'll click this little plus sign right here. And let's say that I want all five star images that have the flag flagged. All right, so right now it's just giving me all five star images. Now when I click save, it's going to give me five star images that have flags. You can see there's significantly less of those. We're still not to that hidden feature yet. I'm working up to it, bear with me. Now I'm gonna right click I'm going to go to Edit Smart Collection again. So we're going to add another attribute. Um, now this attribute though, because up here I have it matching all, what if I want it to be a little more selective? Meaning I don't want it to necessarily match all, but what do I do? Well, what you can do is hold the Alt or Option key. When you do, you'll see this little plus sign over here change into a little pound sign. Click on that. Now we have this drop down again but it's also any of the following are true, all of the following are true, none of the following are true. We're gonna say stay with any because I wanna demonstrate. We'll go to uh, here, we're gonna go to a uh, label color. And the label color, let's say, is red. Well, I could have done that without holding in the Alt Option key, just making this a regular um, choice, the third choice down. And it, if I click Save, it would then give me all five star images that have pick flags that have red labels. I could have done that, but where it comes in handy, and let me edit it one more time, is now if I click the plus sign on this conditional um, choice, I could add another one and I could go to like green labels. So it's going to give me all five star images that are flagged that have either a red label or a green label. And you wouldn't have been able to do that without holding in that Alt Option key to get this conditional area down here. So now this should add green labeled images to my red labeled images down there. And it did. And you can see there's some, some green labeled images. I have two of the same one. I must have been messing around with the uh, color on that one, obviously. So there you see, that's a little hidden feature of Smart Collections in Lightroom Classic. Hopefully that helps you better utilize Smart Collections in your workflow. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.